Hi, this is Yolanda Bryant. Welcome to Early Kinder Gators Online Preschool. Please join us for our free circle time Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Follow us on Facebook. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Ms. Bryant's Early Kinder Gator Online Preschool. How are you guys doing this morning? Well, you know, today is the first day of the week. Yes, and we'll talk about that soon. But for right now, I want you to get a paper and pencil so that you can write your name down, your first and last name. And when we're singing the songs on the alphabet board, I want you to listen for the letters and the letter sounds and match them to the letters and the letter sounds in your name. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Come on to the alphabet board. Okay, guys, make sure you sing with me. Ready? Does your name start with A? A. Does your name start with B? B. Does your name start with C? K. Does your name start with D? D. Does your name start with E? E. Does your name start with F? F. Does your name start with G? G. Does your name start with H? Does your name start with I? I. Does your name start with J? J. Does your name start with K? K. Does your name start with L? O. Does your name start with M? M. Does your name start with N? N. Does your name start with O? A. Does your name start with P? P. Does your name start with Q? Q. Does your name start with R? R. Does your name start with S? Does your name start with T? T. Does your name start with U? A. Uh. Does your name start with V? V. Does your name start with W? W. Does your name start with X? X. Does your name start with Y? Y. Yeah. And does your name start with Z? Z. Good job, boys and girls. All right, I want you guys to look right here. What do you see? Umbrella. Very good. I want you to think about what letter begins in the word umbrella? And what sound does that letter make? Well, let's look for that letter with our magnifying glass. Ready? Uh, 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 you. U makes the uh sound. This is the capital U and lowercase u. And the little boy is holding a umbrella. Why do we use umbrellas? For when it's pouring down rain. Okay guys, let's put that up here. Okay guys, get your paper and pencil so we can write the letter U. Let's go ahead and write the U. So we're gonna start right here and go up like that. All right, that's your uppercase U. And then I'm gonna start down here and make a small one for your lowercase U. Good job, guys. All right, it's time for the days of the week. All right, guys, so we know that we have seven days in one week, and we have four weeks in a month. Most of the time, four weeks. But let's go ahead and talk about those days. We have five days we go to school. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And two days we stay home on the weekend. Um, Saturday and Sunday. So that's, let's count the days. One, two, three, four, five days that we go to school. And one, two days, which is Saturday and Sunday that we stay home on the weekend. So it is seven days all together. So five days that we go to school and two days that we stay home makes seven days in a week. All right, guys, let's go ahead and sing our days of the week song. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Okay, guys, so um, let's talk about our calendar and then we'll do these here. So today is September 13th, 2021. 
okay? And it's the first day of the week. So what day is that? You got it, Monday. Monday begins with the letter M. M, Monday. Get that there. And if today is Monday, what was yesterday? Sunday, very good. Yesterday was Sunday. Sunday. Sunday begins with the letter S. S Sunday. Okay, so if today is Monday, what's tomorrow? Tuesday. Very good. Tuesday. Tuesday begins with the letter T. T, -t Tuesday. Okay, so let's go ahead and read our sentences. Today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Very good, guys. Let's head on back to the calendar. So, let's go ahead and say our days of the week one more time. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And let's count how many days we've had so far in September. All right, guys, make sure you count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, guys, now it's time for the weather. All right, guys, so I want you to look in your window. Or if you're already outside, look up in the sky. What do you see? Do you see blue skies? Do you see clouds? Do you see the sun out? How does it feel outside? Is it hot? Whew. Is it cold? Is it pouring down rain where you are? Well, let me tell you how it is in my neck of the woods. It's pouring down rain. Yeah, we're having a tropical storm. So, let's look at the weather chart. Today's weather is rain, it's a storm. We're gonna put it on a storm, it's a rainstorm. It is stormy today. And how does it feel outside? Well, guess what, we're in Houston, so it's still warm. <laughs> It is warm outside. Warm. W-A-R-M. Warm. So let's put warm here. Okay, guys. So Miguel needs to get dressed for the weather. So since it's raining and thunderstorming, we're going to go ahead and put on good job. Rain clothes. So let's go ahead and get his rain coat. There's his raincoat and some jeans. And let's get his rain boots. And his other rain boot. And now let's get his rain hat to keep his head from getting wet. All right, Miguel is all dressed for the weather. Okay, guys. Now it's time for the color of the day. What's the color of the day? Day, day. What's the color of the day? Day, day. Okay, so I want you to look, think, look at your shirt. And if I say the color that your shirt is, I want you to say, woo-hoo, okay? Green, purple, blue. My shirt is blue. Woohoo! White, red, yellow, brown, black. Well, my shirt isn't black, but I have black writing and shapes on my shirt, and I have a black sweater. Woohoo! Orange, pink, and green again. All right, can you guys guess the color of the day? If you thought purple, you are correct. All right, let's get our purple and put it over here in our color of the day. 
I want you to look around the house and find some things that are purple. Okay, guys, now it's time for the number of the day. Okay, let's go ahead and count our numbers, one to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, guys, let's look at our numbers. Today we're looking at the number nine, okay? And I want you to notice something. On all these numbers, there is a ten frame. Okay, and the ten frame tells us how many circles represent the number that we're looking at, okay? So, let's go ahead and count the, the circles in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. And look at, here's the word nine. N-I-N-E, nine. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about our number of the day. All right, guys, so our number of the day is 21. And the little girl has butterflies in this net. Kind of like my butterflies net that I have. Oh, look at those pretty butterflies. <clears throat> so let's see how many butterflies she has. It should be 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. All right. So let's go ahead and put the number twenty-one over here, and let's look at the number twenty-one. Okay, so here's the number 21. We are, are talking about numbers in the 20s now. And all the numbers in the 20s start with the, the number 2, okay? So last time we did 20, so it was 2 and 0. But today is 20, which is 2, and 1, okay? So your first number is going to be 2, and the second number behind it is going to be 1. 21, 21. And let's put that over here. And some of you may remember that we talked about teen numbers before. And teen numbers, like this 10, 11, 12, and 13, they begin with the number one. But when you get to the 20s, they begin with the number two. All right, guys, get your paper and pencil so we can write 21 and represent 21. And remember, you can pause this video and you can use paper and pencil. You can use a dry erase marker, dry erase board. You can get um, your little blocks if you want to count 21 or pennies or whatever it is you have to make 21. Okay, so first we're going to write a 2. And then we're going to write the number 1. 21. So now we're going to make 21 circles. All right, ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so let's go ahead and count all those circles and make sure we have 21 circles. So the first thing you should have done was wrote your number two and one for 21. Let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. All right, guys, you did an awesome job today. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.